Today's video is going to show you how to create a net worth tracker using the table function with a notion. And before we dive in, I wanted to just clarify that the difference between a spreadsheet and a database is that a database lets you link different spreadsheets using basically one command. And so you could technically do it with spreadsheets using nested if statements and pivot tables and things like that. But this is a much cleaner and a more robust way to set up uh, a complicated spreadsheet. So we're going to start by um, opening up a new Notion page. And I'm going to create a series of tables. Again, tables are databases or spreadsheets by clicking on the plus sign and searching for table. BBLE and going full page because I want to create a new table. And so this will be our actual net worth tracker. And I'm going to go in and you see here where my mouse is, there's different columns like a spreadsheet where we can set the types. So the name will just be, we're going to rename that by clicking on it, opening this window, and we'll call this, uh, this account description hit enter this is like uh, in database terms this is the primary key then we'll go to we want to uh, set up some labels for this uh, and so first we'll do um, the type of account so we'll click on the column click and change the name to account type and the property type will tell us what what kind of field this is, uh, and we will call this a single select. So single select means it can be only one type of, of account uh, versus multi-select means it's our like tags. So we click on select and let's just enter in. So we click on the cell below and we'll enter in a few different account types. So there'll be, uh, uh, let's see, brokerage would be one. You just type it in and hit enter. Uh, another option could be, um, 401k. Another option could be 529 plan. Another option could be uh, HSA, health savings account. And so there you see it's only letting us choose one. And uh, as we go and list out our accounts, you'll see these uh, fill in. So we're going to delete that for now. Next, we'll do, we'll show status for whether it's taxable or a tax deferred account. So I click on the column and this will be a yes, no, which will be a checkbox. And so I click on the checkbox. I'm going to click again and rename it to taxable as a question mark. Actually, let's do retirement. And then if we check the box, we'll get a retirement and then account. And then the next thing we'll do is we will add a um, a field for a balance, like the, the value of the account. So we'll type in balance. Again, we'll change the property type um, to number. We're going to go a step further and change the number to, um, I'm going to format the number to a dollar amount. All right, so we've set up our basic table. Now I'm going to go in and set, in, uh, set up a few accounts. Uh, just to see how this works. So let's say, um, let's say I used to work at BlackRock. So BlackRock 401k. Hit enter. I go over to account type. Uh, this is a 401k and this is a retirement account. And let's say the balance of that is uh, $50,000. Cool. Then let's say I've got a Vanguard taxable account. So it's a Vanguard taxable. Um, account type is brokerage. It's not a retirement account, so I won't click that. Let's say the balance is 30,000 and so on and so forth. So what I'll do um, is I'll populate this with some examples uh, and we'll go to the next video where we link to a second table.